This, if you're a fan like me, you'll agree that yes, Prime Minister is one of the best sitcoms ever. So do you want to join me today? Grab a chair, sit by the campfire, and we'll live this great show together. We'll travel through the entire cast, past and present, reminiscing about those who have left us and celebrating those who still shine. Are you ready? Let's dive in and rekindle some incredible memories. Peter Chalier played the character Sir Frank Gordon in the sitcom when he was 58 in 1986. See, at 95 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Middlesex, England. It's in detail, do you? Not that there's anything wrong with them, go on. But who would do that? Ministers are only briefed by us, their own officials, and we're all loyal members of the service who want the pay rise. Yes. Well, I'll... And, um, Michael Aldrich played the character Jeffrey in the sitcom when he was 66 in 1986. Sadly, on January 10, 1994, he left us due to lung cancer at 73 in Greenwich, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. How much did he tell them? Well, that hardly matters. I mean, what with Burgess and McLean and Fulby and Blake and Fuchs and the Krogers. <laughs> One more didn't look. I agree. But it doesn't alter the fact that he was wholly to blame. As you probably know, sir, driving without insurance is an absolute offence. Meaning? We have no alternative. Nigel Hawthorne played the character Sir Humphrey Appleby in the sitcom when he was 57 in 1986. Sadly, on December 26, 2001, he left us due to a rare cancer at 72 in Hertfordshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. certainly know that I probably wouldn't. Yes, but even though they probably certainly know that you probably wouldn't, they don't certainly know that although you probably wouldn't, there's no probability that you certainly... ...politically orientated. So he um, got in the car and they buzzed off and and he said suddenly I was in this arena with something like 60,000 people. John Barron played the character Sir Ian Whitworth in the sitcom when he was 66 in 1986. Sadly, on July 3rd, 2004, he left us with lung cancer at 83 in Watford, Hertfordshire, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Seeing your patients die must emotionally distort your judgment. It's very understandable, but a great handicap to cool decision taking. So you've had the letter too. You see, brains on all sides. <laughs> We're a bit early. Fancy a quick drink. 11.03. Diana Hardinard played the character Annie Hacker in the sitcom when she was 45 in 1986. See, at 83 years old, she is living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in Somerset, England. Scrambled eggs or something? Oh, I think there's some eggs in the fridge. <laughs> you want me to do it? <laughs> we agreed that I'd carry on with my work, didn't we? Yes, 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 of course. Um, yes, at the time, he meant everything. Paul Eddington played the character James Hacker in the sitcom when he was 59 in 1986. Sadly, on November 4th, 1995, he left us due to a rare cancer at 68 in Southwark, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. The German ambassador on Tuesday, <laughs> with the French ambassador on Wednesday, the American ambassador. Oh, must leave out the Commonwealth. On Thursday, I'll have lunch with the New Zealand High Commissioner. Must have totally dispirited him. He got a whiff of gas at each and a little bit of a trench, what was called trench foot. Uh, but... Derek Fones played the character Bernard Worley in the sitcom when he was 49 in 1986. Sadly, on January 17, 2020, he left us due to heart failure and sepsis at the age of 82 in Somerset, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Over 40 years ago? Well, yes, but they had lots of testing. You can't afford luxuries like that with the modern ones. Why not? Well. If there's a nuclear war, Prime Minister. Things forever. And I said, really? Is it that good? He said, well, I am. <laughs> <laughs> I love them both. But it, it was one of those unique... Barry Stanton played the character Malcolm Warren in the sitcom when he was 46 in 1986. See, at 83 years old, he's living a fulfilling life with a passion right here in the UK. At any moment, so could we keep this brief? Oh, certainly, two things. First and most important, we should discuss your first appearance on TV as Prime Minister. Ah, now that is important, perhaps. Deborah Norton played the character Dorothy Wainwright in the sitcom 
when she was 42 in 1986. See, at 80 years old, she is living a fulfilling life for the passion right here in Surrey, England. ...to make better use of the space. Don't you realise that the civil service have been trying to get me out of that office for three years? No, why? Because geographically it's in the... Peter Cartwright played the character Chief Whip in the sitcom when he was 52 in 1987. Sadly, on November 18, 2013, he left us due to lung cancer at 78 in London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Well, apart from Dudley... <laughs> well, it's, um... It, it's a bit early to say. I, I mean, there may be nothing in it. Jeffrey, I'm not taking any... John Nettleton played the character Sir Arnold Robinson in the sitcom when he was 57 years old in 1986. Sadly, on July 12, 2023, he left us due to heart failure and sepsis at the age of 94 in England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. You need 43%. Mm, thereabouts. Well, since virtually all the relevant staff work in London, you should start with a big increase in the London allowance. Frederick Treves played the character Chief in the sitcom when he was 61 in 1986. Sadly, on January 30th, 2012, he left us due to natural causes at 86 in Mitcham, London, England. We are deeply saddened by his passing. Straight through to the Soviet president. Uh, theoretically, yes. Theoretically? That's what we tell journalists. <laughs> in fact, he did once get through to the Kremlin, but only to a switchboard operator. Donald Pickering played the character Sir Richard Wharton in the sitcom when he was 53 in 1986. Sadly, on December 19, 2009, he left us due to natural causes at 76 in Gloucestershire, England. Hope not. <laughs> Are you implying that the Prime Minister ought to know what's happening? Well, he, he is the Prime Minister. Yes, Bernard, but it's simply too dangerous to let politics... Okay, let's chat. Who is your favorite character in Yes, Prime Minister? Please comment and share interesting things below this video. And as always, show some love. Hit the like button, subscribe to know more, and hit the bell to never miss my new content. I can't wait to create more wonderful memories with you. Thanks so much and stay tuned for more. See you again as soon as possible.